Thousands of barrels of toxic waste are sitting right there on the ocean floor about 12 miles off our coast. The barrels, which contain, uh, contain the pesticide DDT, were dumped in the ocean after World War II, and that's before the chemical was banned. NBC4's Angie Crouch now has been looking into the danger that this massive dump site poses to humans and marine life. This video from 2013 shows the moment marine scientists from UC Santa Barbara first discovered the gigantic underwater toxic dump site between Catalina Island and the LA coast. And I'm a lover of the ocean. Uh, and when I came across this, it, I, it just struck me, how, is nobody, how does nobody know about this? Professor David Ballantyne and his team were the first to document the site, which is believed to contain more than 27,000 barrels. Samples taken show high concentrations of DDT, a hazardous pesticide that was banned in the U.S. in 1972. In March, researchers from UC San Diego's Scripps Institution of Oceanography mapped more than 36,000 acres of seafloor to determine just how extensive the problem is and how to contain it or clean it up. Some of the barrels appear to be cracked and leaking. Some are dripping with chemicals that researchers call toxicals. DDT is, um, it doesn't dissolve in water. It's one of the reasons it's so dangerous because it prefers to be in fat tissues. Scientists say DDT isn't absorbed through the skin, so swimming near the dump site shouldn't pose a risk, but eating fish could. 25% of California's sea lions, which breed in the area, have developed cancer, which researchers suspect could be linked to DDT. And a recent study found that women exposed to DDT while pregnant can pass along health problems like breast cancer and obesity for generations. Women who were uh, exposed to high levels of DDT, um, the effects of that DDT can be traced uh, all the way to their grandchildren. Sean Wittenberg, whose company Safe Catch tests tuna for mercury, says much more needs to be done to ensure seafood is safe to eat. When you start to damage our environment and you start to, you know, put pollutants into our into our oceans at this rate, eventually it will collapse our food systems. The California State Assembly is calling on the federal government to investigate and develop a plan for cleanup. Angie Crouch, NBC4 News. All right, looking live from Mount Wilson right now.